Hey, if you recently went to the doctor because you're always tired, run down, and experience problems with brain fog and trouble focusing, your doctor may have tested your thyroid gland for something called hypothyroidism. And if after ruling out that the thyroid wasn't a problem, you were probably sent home without any answers, without any guidance or direction as to what else could be causing this. Well, if you can relate, you're not alone. I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. I'm the clinic director here at drhagmeyer.com. And today I'm gonna to explain how chronic fatigue syndrome may be caused by a hidden gut infection or by an overgrowth of bacteria or yeast hiding in your gut. You see, ongoing persistent chronic fatigue, brain fog, trouble focusing and concentrating, it's not normal. And it's often a sign that there's some underlying health problem despite what your doctor may be telling you. Well, there can be a number of issues causing chronic fatigue like iron deficiency and thyroid problems and B12 deficiency. One problem I believe certainly worth investigating and something I see in the majority of my patients that struggle with advanced fatigue and brain fog is a hidden infection in the gut. Chronic fatigue syndrome is a clinical condition. It's characterized by persistent and unexplained relapsing fatigue that's often worsened by physical and mental exertion. In fact, the, according to the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, chronic fatigue affects a million Americans every single year and usually affects more uh, women than men. For many people with chronic fatigue, it's also very common to suffer with muscle and joint pain, difficulty thinking and focusing, and, and finally, sleep problems. Now, if this is you, uh, I want to strongly to consider the possibility that your fatigue is rooted in either bacterial or gut infection or even a yeast infection in your microbiome. When it comes to the gut fatigue connection, multiple studies have already found distinct differences in the gut microbiome of patients who suffer with chronic fatigue syndrome and those who don't. In fact, patients with chronic fatigue syndrome are more likely to report a diagnosis of irritable bowel syndrome as well. And more recently, studies have proven that there are interactions between gut bacterial, your mucosal barrier, and your immune system. And when this happens, we get an inflammatory response leading to chronic fatigue. So how do you know if the cause of your chronic fatigue syndrome is caused by gut bacteria or by yeast? So here's a little bit of a checklist that makes me think about an underlying gut infection that's causing fatigue and brain fog. Number one is has your diet in the past or currently been a diet that's high in sugar and carbs? Have you had a recent bout of food poisoning in the last one to three years? Do you have thyroid problems or do you take thyroid medication? Uh, do you take antidepressants or antibiotics or antacids? In the last one to three years, have you been under high levels of stress or has there been something traumatic that's happened to you? Do you experience pain on a regular basis? Uh, in the last one to three years, have you had any blood testing that shows you have chronic inflammation? And the last question is, does your gas and bloating and constant patient and diarrhea, does it get worse when you eat fruit, fiber, sugar, or starches? Now, if you can relate to any of these questions and you have chronic fatigue, I would almost guarantee that your chronic fatigue uh, syndrome is rooted in some kind of hidden gut infection. Usually it's a combination of these factors that are necessary in order to set the stage for this bacterial and yeast to begin hijacking your microbiome. You see, our microbiome is a delicate balance in which a community of bacteria, yeast, and even viruses live on and in your body. And they influence everything in terms of how we feel, our immune system response to our environment, and really how our body's ability to resist disease. There's a whole lot that your microbiome isn't involved in. Studies show that in patients with IBS and chronic fatigue syndrome, there's these advanced uh, pro-inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-1b and TNF-alpha. And again, while you don't need to memorize these, it does point to the fact that there is some sort of systemic inflammatory response that's happening. Other studies show that things like mast cell activation, increased lymphocytes, again, all set the stage for this low-grade inflammation immune activation that takes place in the bowels. Now, what does that mean to you? Well, again, these inflammatory cytokines, when elevated, they activate your fight or flight system. And perhaps you've heard of your adrenal glands or the HPA axis. Well, when this fight or flight system is stressed for a long enough period of time, you begin to show signs of low cortisol. And this low cortisol, in turn, causes not only chronic fatigue, but it's also common to see things like depression, intestinal issues, anxiety, a weakened immune system, and increased susceptibility to colds, infections, and sicknesses. There's a loss of resilience in stressful situations, like a fuse blows, brain fog, hormonal imbalances, and again, that's the connection between hidden gut infections and how they cause chronic fatigue. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you learned something new, be sure to give today's video a thumbs up. If you have questions about gut infections and chronic fatigue, be sure to drop those in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer those. Um, if you have questions about becoming a patient, you can visit my website, uh, drhagmar.com. And lastly, there's another video that I think you might find helpful when it comes to chronic fatigue. Till next time, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. Take care.